How long will the euro last? Forever. Yeah, forever. Forever. Right? It'll look different. It will look different, but it'll last forever. Wow, Earth isn't even going to last forever. Uh, well, you know what I'd be like. So it'll outlast Earth. That's <laughs> confidence in the euro there. It's never been such an event that's so much fun with so much dry material. It's a blast. You have to take economics out of the conference room and out of academia because economics is about the business of ordinary people's lives. Welcome to Kilconomics. You need a diversity of opinion because, unfortunately, in economics these days, it's all gathered around one school of thought, and this leads to mistakes. You need diversity of opinion, and in Kilconomics, there is that diversity, that key diversity of opinion to make informed decisions. And we've had more than a few laughs, which uh, in this current climate is great, and to be laughing about the economy is even more unusual. The Pope's a bit like James Bond, you know, there's good ones and bad ones, and um, <laughs> anyone that sleep with ends up dying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've said too much. Um. Fraud is easy. Being an honest business person is hard to make a lot of money. But if you engage in fraud, you will get record profits. They'll be fictional uh, for the bank. You will be made instantly wealthy through modern executive compensation. And the bank will suffer catastrophic losses, which the public will largely bear. That is a terrible recipe for the future. We owe it to ourselves and to our kids to break that uh, dynamic now by holding people accountable. That's why people are suffering, is because the economy is contracting. They, they're I? saying it's expanding. That's a bold-faced lie. Can I just Mark back Carney, to the point? George Osborne are lying. Okay. It's a lie. It's a lie. They're lying. They're lying to you. You're being lied to. That's baloney. So what's America's debt ceiling? Is it like? Is it more than ours? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I have a few cousins in New York that could paint it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd have to pay them cash. All the countries are like students who live in a flat. So the Germans are very responsible and they're using, they're studying medicine in UCD or something like that. And they're paying all the money into the household kitty. And the Finns are very responsible. They're doing pharmacy in Trinity and they're paying all the money into the household kitty. Ireland is doing golf course management at Letterkenny IT. <laughs> and we've drunk the entire household kitty and we've eaten all the Germans' cocoa pops. That's what it seems like. And the Greeks aren't even in college. They're on a false course down the road. It's, uh, it's, it's a gardening budget. Yeah, it's <laughs> 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 And so while they're being entertained, they're also being informed. And I think that's really, really valuable. It's just really stimulating and fun. Outrageous. <laughs>